Good afternoon and welcome to another ATG quick tip video. My name is Matt Lin and today I'll be showing you how to quickly produce a schematic floor plan with a color filled legend. I will be dividing the plan by department to easily identify them. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this floor one with detailing. And then I'm going to rename it. Okay, now that we've made a new view, I'm going to isolate the room category and the room tag category. Okay, so we can still see all of the room tags and if we move our mouse around, we can see the rooms are also uh, not frozen. However, it'd be nice if we could just see them all on. So I'm going to make that adjustment through visibility graphics and go down to the room category. And I'm going to turn on interior fill like so. Okay, so if I do a big sweeping view over everything, I can see that the only two categories on are the room tags and the room. So now we just need to divide them into departments. So I'm going to zoom in here. Looks like these are all instruction. This is one as well. Okay, so now with those selected, I'm going to come over to my properties under department and call this instruction. And now that they're still highlighted, I'm going to hide them, uh, hide the elements. That way I know what has been assigned and what is not. Okay, here we have a corridor, some stairs. We have a lobby and a vestibule. Oh, here's another stair. So I'm going to give these items the Department of Circulation. And just as I did with the others, I'm going to hide them temporarily. OK, it looks like we have like an admin wing over here. So I'm going to grab this. Let's see these items right here with the storage. And I'll give them the Department of Admin and then hide them temporarily. Okay, so it looks like we have some support spaces and some MEP spaces. So I'm gonna grab all of the support type spaces. And I'm going to give them the Department of Support. Okay, we have electrical, sprinkler, electrical, electrical, men and women. We'll give these a support as well. After you've already put it in once, you can simply select from the drop down. So we'll say support. And we'll hide them as well. Okay, so now I'm going to grab these and I'm going to deselect the room tag. So I'm left with just the rooms. And we'll give this the Department of Systems. And hide them. So it looks like we've assigned every room to a department. So now I'm going to go ahead and reset. Okay, and for the schematic plan, I don't really care to see door numbers, so I'm going to hide category. Same thing with the column grids. I'll select these three different categories and say hide category as well.
Okay, that looks pretty good. So now that all the departments have been assigned, I can simply come to the Annotate tab to the Color Fill Legend, and I'll place it right here. So you can choose your type. You can do spaces or rooms or HVAC, HVAC zones. So for this, we're going to select rooms because that's where we assigned the parameter. And then I'm going to select department because that is the parameter we populated. Say OK. And you can see just like that, it gives you a color filled floor plan. And it gives you this legend, which is reading that. If I grab a room here, all these are due are looking to that parameter and reporting the value to the legend like so. Okay, so it'll give you a default color. It just randomly selects. If you want to change it, you can simply highlight it and say edit scheme. And you can come in and change these to any color you want for every single division. So you can use the color filled legend as we did with rooms category and the department parameter. Or you could do rooms category and name, which all you have to do is just select it and say OK. And it'll automatically update the legend and the plan for you. Now this one isn't quite as useful in my opinion as the department, but you have that option. You can also do by area. And if you do by area, you can do by range, in which you come in here and specify it, that is the format, or you can do it by value, either way. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the department, say okay, and there we go. Hope this was helpful, thank you.